Hi there, I'm back. <laughs> I am hoping somebody's watching because I have my little trusty basket out and I am gonna do the drawing that I promised I would do yesterday. Um, I, I, I always forget this and so this is like from the last two weeks so I'm gonna go ahead and fold up these names there's actually several in here thank you so much for sharing my videos I really appreciate it because you never know who you might see that might like to um, craft with an old lady <laughs> crafting with an old lady actually would have been fun for me from the time I was probably about um, three I'll guess maybe two three maybe not two but three or four, I would have liked to have crafted with an old lady. I didn't really have any old ladies that crafted in my life. I would have liked it, but it didn't matter. Even though they weren't crafty people, they um, still didn't squelch my love of it. And so um, if you're not a crafty person, but you just uh, get a kick out of watching somebody make a fool of themselves on video, that's good too. I don't really care because um, sharing my videos means somebody is seeing it who actually might um, want to do some stamping up stuff with me sometime. And that's actually a win-win for me and for other people in my life. So I've got all these little names all folded up pretty good. And then I'll shake it up and we'll see who wins the drawing. And I'm using a little different basket that I can <laughs> shake a little bit and mix it all up. And it's beautiful outside. I am so eager to get out and... and um, prune my honeysuckles, but I actually have a really cool card I'm going to do. Let me show it to you really quick. So last night I did this card and I did this card and I thought, you know what? I need to get a t t tutorial on there for that because I've got a nice website. Actually, it's working pretty good. Um, not too hard for me to manage, but it's just time consuming to get all of those tutorials up there. So I have a bunch of cards up and I'm gradually adding and adding. And But this one is one that's pretty quick and easy and cute. So here we go. We'll see who won the drawing for last week. And it is Joyce. Now, how do I say your name, Joyce? Puglia? Puglia? There is a G in it, but I'm not sure if it's pronounced. And I'm, I'm probably mutilating your name. But Joyce, I don't have your address, I know. So please send, me, just private message me your address. Um, if somebody who is watching knows Joyce, Make sure she sees this so that she knows she won, so I can send her something. And um, you can also always email me at my uh, Kathy Crow's cards at gmail.com. It's just all one name, Kathy Crow's cards, no apostrophe in the S like you're supposed to. So it's just all no apostrophe, Kathy Crow's cards at gmail.com so that one i know will get to me because somebody p tried to send me their address um through my private message facebook thing and it never showed up so you know facebook does weird things so i'm gonna save this over here where i know you are because i want to make sure that i see that i see that um, that you've won i'm gonna put my little basket away over here and then I'm going to tip it down. This card actually is going to go pretty fast. I've, my be desk is really messy because I want it to go quickly here. Um, I My friend Kara is going to be going on live here very soon with her own thing. And I don't want to interfere with that at all. So, um, so I'm going to try to do this really fast. So anyhow, this is um, using the very vintage hostess set. So you have to order $150 or have a party that sh gives you enough you know orders from your people that you'll get a $150 party and then you can get this stamp set for free this is not a celebration thing so even after celebration is ended you can still get this and it has this beautiful rose and I just want to show you how easy it is I did these two cards very quickly because um, we're gonna just color right on the rose and I'm not even going to put my paper out yet I've got it kind of tucked over here because um, I'm going to be using my embossing uh, powder on that and um, and I'm gonna just use it this is the month this is the host code for the month this is like an old paper I <laughs> I wanted to use my embossing on it so I um, didn't bother to um, <laughs> Oh man, my lights are pretty bright. Um, so hopefully it's not so terribly bright that you can't 
you can't see anything there. Okay, so this is the stamp set, stamp that we're gonna use. And I need to use a bigger block on it. And then I'm going to just color right on the stamp. And I'm going to get out, I already cut out, this is from the Stitched Seasons thinlets that were available a while ago. They're not, they are not available, but the, any frame that's like this will work. And um, then this piece is actually cut from the, um, I, I don't know if you can see, all of these are the stitched so there's a little tiny stitchings and you cannot get that on your, your cutting machine. It is not gonna look as neat and tidy because it'll cut, it'll do holes and it will do stitching, but I'm just telling you, it's not gonna probably look quite as good. These are the stitched rectangles and I, you probably can't see it because it's so dark. If I get it close, you can't see. And then if down here, it's such fine detail, you can't see either, but you might actually be able to see the white one a little bit better. I don't know that you can because with the, if I had a light, you know, on my camera, then you could, but there's just little stitching all along there. So I am going, oh, I did one that's a little too big for that. Oh, dang, I'll have to cut it again. And so I'm just, this actually, I I meant that to, to be there and I'll have to, but I can still stamp it because I want to stamp both of these together, but then I am going to have to finish this card privately on my own. <laughs> it looks like because I'll, I don't know if my, Thing is all set up ready for me to just cut really quick it might be we'll see well I think I have everything here that I need so I am using Pacific Point call me clover and um, pumpkin pie are the three colors that I'm gonna be coloring this stamp and then I am going to just stamp right on the oh there it is these two pieces uh, to get these images and it actually goes pretty quick so the um, I'm going to start with, um, I'll start with a Call Me Clover first, and you're going to want to use the um, fat end, and I have to get my glasses off so that I can see what I'm doing. You're just going to quickly go over all of these little leaves and, th and stems, and um, then the Pacific Point is going to go on all of the little, I think those are morning glories. When I was looking at this stamp set, it looked to me like um, it was morning glory, a morning glory vine with the rose, the, the little roses in a, like a rose bush. And, um, oops, that one actually is a rose, so I don't want green on that necessarily we're gonna a little greens okay so for the rose you're gonna want to just kind of go on the edge of those buds with your green and um, and stay off of the flower and sort of the same thing with your little buds of your morning glory if you don't color it on your stamp it's actually pretty easy to fill it in after you've stamped it but um, I'm trying to save myself some time here and get this done quickly. So we will, we will try to color as much as possible. It's easy to miss a little spot with these detailed stamps. So I'm just trying to go in here and make sure that I got all of the, all of the stems. That green is going to stay moist a while. That is going to not <laughs> take long to, you know, I can take some time here with my blue. And I'm just filling in all of the flowers now that are the morning glory flowers with this blue. And then that green also, I am going to be able to go back very easily and fill anything in that I, I might have missed. Um, after I but I won't know until after I've stamped it and I don't want to get my roses I think those three things are roses so we'll leave those alone okay and then finally pumpkin pie is the last and we're doing that just to outline what are going to be actually my yellow roses are gonna start out with a pumpkin pie I want to I want to put some orange there, but I know there's green, so I'm cleaning my marker off. So if you get into the green or anything, you want to make sure you've cleaned that off that marker really good. These are just stamping up some markers. These are not the al alcohol blending pens. They are a little less expensive. Um, so now I'm going to breathe on it. <sighs> 
to get it nice and moist again and stamp that right on there. And then I am going to just stamp my white image right again. Okay, did not do anything else. And then that way you've got like your double, double stamped thing. And then I'm using my Tombos to color in this yellow because this is pretty dark. Now this is very beautiful just the way it is. I don't really need to do anything with that. Um, but I do want some yellow because this, I, I like this crumb cake cardstock that I cut the, or, the little, use the rectangle thinlets for, but it is sort of dark and with a little bit of yellow it kind of brightens it up and then I took um, 200 Tombow this one is 055 this is 200 and colored in it's very light because I don't want it to darken I want to be able to see all the detail of those veins but I did want to just darken up those leaves a little bit and make them stand out as not just something that, you know, I stuck on there. And then I actually can do it on this card too because the leaves, it, it actually will help them look a little bit less like I just sort of drew them on um, if I do that. And then um, with two, 350 or 250. Now 250 is going to be lighter, so I think we'll start with 250 first and um, just fill in my little morning glory edges okay and if i wanted to leave a highlight i just won't color a part of it just leaving a little bit of light color there isn't a bad idea just to make sure that my uh, not all of my highlights disappear on me and this is very pale you know because it's on white so i think I'm just gonna do the undersides and sort of leave the tops. I don't wanna mess, mess it up too much. Okay, and then this actually, I got to go run this really quick with my, I've got, now these are the, this the rectangle and I don't need those. This is the stitched seasons and I, I actually needed, I used the larger, there's three sizes that are, are all of these. I actually needed this size. I'm gonna have to run really quick and run it through. Um, I think my big shots stuck up here so that I can do this pretty quickly. If you'll just bear with me while I'm in the other room running it through. Okay. Now that ran it through very quickly, and then, um, and now I, I don't, I could use that maybe at some point, but I actually just want this, and then I used um, a a stamp from uh, our new. Uh, we have a wedding, a wedding one. Where did that set go? I know I set it down somewhere, and now I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where. I set that stamp, so I might have to use, I'll just use one of the ones out of my very vintage, because I cannot see it. It's actually, um, yeah, it's a wedding one, that's funny, but I'm going to use the Your Blessing here, because I just want a little tiny one that's going to fit right there. Now, I do need, before I do anything else, I need to get this cleaned off, because markers are going to color my ink pad pretty badly if I don't if I don't get it cleaned off and I'm missing my I'm missing my um, cleaning guy where did he go I usually have him sitting right here my little um, my 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 chamois my little chamois I had to go find him I moved him okay so I'm just gonna clean that off. See, the Simply Chamois is wonderful. It cleans everything really good, but I wanted to get that cleaned off before it had a chance to, to really stick, you know, on my, on my rubber stamp. And now let me grab another block, and I made kind of a tiny block for this little sentiment. And then I'm using Pacific Point. I accidentally used blueberry bushel for the first one there. And and then I had to use a gel pen to <laughs> kind of go over it and get the color I wanted because 
actually wanted Pacific Point. Pacific Point is um, a little lighter than blueberry bushel. It works better. Okay, so we got that stamped and we'll put that stamp away. And now this is gonna just go on, I ran, um, I ran a piece of Pacific Point cardstock through the scattered sequins embossing folder already, and that's what this card is. And then we are gonna just, that one goes, I don't know if that's gonna go on there. This card, the white base for this, this card is actually, I think, a little bigger, it's supposed to be. And then a little bit, I want it to be a little shorter there. So we're gonna just put some of my things away, trim it just a little bit, and we'll lay that right on there. This is going to, I'm just gonna use my rubber cement to run this, run this through very quickly. And you can see how quick you can get a card done. Now, yesterday I was trying to get done with my morning chores very quickly, but I, since I've been losing weight, the one thing that I can have that I really enjoy is coffee with, um, and I like it with with milk. I used to have it with cream, <laughs> so now I'm having it with milk, and I'm actually used to it, and I'm enjoying it. It's a treat for me. But um, my coffee at Barracudas, which is our favorite coffee place, they they always have, um, you know, their little, their fancy foam, their crema that they put on top, even though it's fat free and all that, I still get a sense of cream with that crema. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I, I, we used, we had like um, a long time ago, I'd bought a, um, a frothé au lait, it was called. And it, you could put your milk in it, it heated it up, and then it ha it's like, looked like a blender. And then it would stir its little paddles around and blend that milk enough to get a nice foam. You could pour that in your coffee and all that, and it was really good. So I got it out. I haven't used it in a long time because I realized a long time ago that actually um, to wait for that thing to heat milk and to froth it, was like 10 minutes and I could heat my milk for my coffee up in the microwave in about uh, 20 seconds and then just pour it in because the froth, when you're having real cream with your coffee, I don't care if there's froth, you know, not a big deal. And so I hadn't used the um, froth aole in a long time. I knew the reason I'd stopped using it was just because of that time factor. And um, so anyway, I um, thought, well, you know what? We'll get it out. Well, I tried the froth aole and it actually wasn't working all that well. Now I used my, on this card, I used the little yellow Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, but I only have three left. And I actually want to um, put six of them on this card because I want three on the bottom and three on the top. So I am gonna have to use some plain pearls on this one. And these pearls are really difficult to get off. Um, these are not my nice Stampin' Up! ones that that come off the, the uh, the sheet nicely. If you win sharing a video from me, I probably won't send you a, um, I will send you a Stampin' Up uh, embellishment if you get an embellishment because um, these other ones are unreliable and um, uh, I don't, unless I've tried it and I know it works good, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wanna send that to you. These also, the backing, the little sticky backing sometimes just comes away. It doesn't stay with the, uh, the bead, you know, that you're trying to stick on your card. It sticks to your finger and then comes away from the little um, dot like it just is trying to do just now. And uh, it, it's all very frustrating when this happens. But anyhow, I'm just trying to balance out. This is kind of a large border all around um, the uh, white. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it's, it's actually Mango Melody. And uh, it's kind of orangey and just a little, 
a little bit on the bright side for me. I normally have pastels going with a, a floral card like this, but because I'm still sort of in the doldrums of winter as we had so much snow for so long, I think that's why I am just still um, very attracted to very light colors. Okay, so that I'm trying to get this lined up with these that I put on the bottom and I'm I'm hoping that I got that that correctly and then let me get all my little papers away. And that card is done. And then this one is going to just go together very quickly too. It is on another piece of Pacific Point and I'm just folding it. This is just cut four and a quarter um, from your eight and a half by 11 sheet. I'm just cutting it in half lengthwise, folding it in half. This is the, um, part. I did a little bit of embossing here with the stamp and um, I use that one of the best things is you from the um, very vintage set. Okay, so that's right there. It's a little bit fat to fit onto this card, but um, we're gonna make that work anyhow. So to emboss, you are going to need your um, Versamark. It's just a clear pad and it, we're gonna stick it pretty close to the edge because this one, actually I got it over a little bit farther. So we're gonna put that on there and then, oops, I kind of forgot. I need to clear off my paper because I need my paper to put my, oh, I forgot my embossing buddy too. I hope this works. If it doesn't, I'll have to turn it over and do it again because the embossing buddy actually gets all of the extra off nicely. I see there's a little extra there and I'm, I'm thinking it'll be okay. If I had gotten my emboss, this is my embossing buddy. You just roll it on, rub, rub it on there and it, it provides the non-static surface. So now I'm, I'm kind of off camera here. Let me put this over here. And you can see I'm just using my little heat gun to melt that powder. It's kind of loud, but not too bad. And this is, um, this is actually blueberry bushel embossing powder from Stampin' Up. But it's pretty close to Pacific Point. It's a little dark, but I don't have any Pacific Point embossing powder. I don't know why I don't, but I just don't. And then you can take your embossing powder that's left over and just pour it right back into this, that container. Let me move my Versamark out of the way. Okay, and then this goes right back into right back in there and I can put that away. We'll clean that stamp really quick because that first mark is kind of gummy. I don't really want it to stay on there too long. And I want that to cool a little tiny bit. It doesn't take long, but I still think I'd like to have it cool, cool down just a bit. And then this is gonna just lay right on this card. Now, when I was going on about my, um, oh, that's an extra piece. These are extra pieces. My coffee experience. So I thought, well, so I don't wanna wait a long time. I tried the froth aole the night before and I'm not really sure it was working pro very well. It, it, I kind of stuck, turned it on and left the kitchen and didn't watch it. When I came back in, the milk was, you know, pretty hot. It was not hot, hot. It was warm. There was a little froth on it, not much. So I thought the next morning, I'm going to see what my blender can do because, you know, really, I can just heat it up in the microwave and then just use my blender to get... Now, anybody who's tried what I'm just saying is going to be hysterically laughing at my stupidity because they've either seen this happen or they might have tried it themselves or they just know better. Um, but anyhow, um, heating up 
your milk and then trying to put it in the blender is just not a good idea. Now, I don't know why mine laid down so nice there and it's not here, but sometimes when you're embossing, your paper will, will warp a little bit and I probably should have made sure that it was more flat before I tried gluing it on, but I, I didn't want to take the time to do that. And so I didn't, and, and now I'm a little bit regretting that. But this is gonna go, oh, I forgot. I need to put just a tiny bit of this specific point around here too. I could just set it on there and it looks pretty good just as is. But I thought maybe a little blue would actually make it just a little brighter on there. Uh, I do still want to see that mango med melody underneath, but we'll see if we can see it. I don't know. We, we'll just find out. So I'm going to just put this on here, and then I am going to use my scissors to trim, because I need to just trim it really close. And my um, cutting board will cut a straighter line than I can with my scissors, but it's a pretty short piece and I need to get it super close to the edge. So if I use my cutting board, I really can't, it won't let me cut that close to another raised piece. So it might be a tiny bit crooked, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have to accept that fact. And then we can lay this on here. You can see just a tiny bit around the edges there. Well, anyway, back to my coffee story. I um, heated up my milk in the microwave probably a little too long because I wanted it to be super hot, right? So that after I um, whirred it <laughs> in the blender, it would make my coffees not cold. So I heated it up probably for two minutes in there and it actually boiled out and I had to quickly clean my microwave tray because I'm like super fussy about things and I want it clean right now. I don't want to leave it sitting in there. And then um, I put the, I put that in the blender, at, but when I started to whir up the blender, I think this is crushed curry ribbon in the catalog. It's real pretty. Goes with this mango mel melody really well. Um, I blended it but apparently your hot hot milk creates this weird vacuum effect as soon as you put on the lid it's like not a super tight lid so I I didn't realize that I was creating a vacuum but as soon as I turned on that blender it like went whoosh all over the place it was really bad and um and then I thought well I'll just hold the lid on really good because I'm gonna have some <laughs> some frothy goodness with my coffee and especially after I'd already made the mess that I was gonna have to clean up um I figured I might as well try it again and but I it and so it just kept doing that I did it one more time it still made its big mess and um so yeah I learned that I am not gonna be able to do it that way I'll have to break down and buy Another frothing machine, apparently, because I'm not going to spend the money to go to the coffee shop every day, and I do want coffee, and I can't have cream right now, but I can have non-fat, or almost non-fat, like 2% um, crema, if I can froth it. Okay, now the other thing, the last thing that I did is I took a little tiny bit of Wink of Stella, and just went around the edges of my roses, and then that just gave it a little shine. It kind of darkens it up right here, but it actually lightens up after it's dried, and you probably can't even see the shine on the camera, but you can in person. It's a little bit glimmery and pretty. Okay, so I am done. You can get this done very quickly too, if you want to. Okay, whipped out two cards, I don't know, uh, maybe 20 minutes. And um, I hope you have a great day. I'm a little crooked, <laughs> but that's okay. Our kitchen's clean now, um, and um, I'm happy. I'm going to go out and do my honeysuckles, and um, we'll see what else I can do today. I hope I see you next week, and next time I'll have to, I will remember to do the drawing next week, I promise. Bye.